Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV. It is the 18th of November, 2021. Taking a look at Phantom. Phantom has kind of been one of the uh, uh, like golden uh, altcoins of 2021 and even into 2020. I mean, Phantom, when you go back to July, uh, late July of 2021. I don't know why I'm saying that. Just last July, <laughs> this past July. Um, it's, you know, it moved from 15 cents all the way up to uh, $3.75. That's a pretty nice drive up. And really, ever since it broke above the cloud back in August, uh, it, it hasn't really come back into the cloud. It tested the top of it once back on the 6th of October. But otherwise, it hasn't really um, had any meaningful drop down into the cloud or, or to test any levels below. So when we're looking at this chart here and you're looking at the the volume profile, especially speci specifically from that, that July low. Man, I hate how this <laughs> volume profile visual range works on trading views. It's kind of irritating how it adjusts the screen. But uh, so the volume point of control is at 22 cents now. You're definitely going to get a lot more trading and participation at 22 cents than you would get at 1.35, all right, which is uh, six, seven times the value. But look at the volume that was traded uh, at that 125 to 150 value area, all right? There's a lot of volume traded in there. And so if it does pull back down lower, Likely to see Phantom find some support between 125 and 150. I'm not sure if it looks like those are support levels on the Ichimoku chart. No, there's not. But volume profile wise, Phantom should get some support in that 125 to 150 range. If you want to look at kind of a bullish return of, of what would have to happen there. Uh, I mean, it's the, the threshold is, is a little bit more difficult. Ultimately, what you would need to see here is the uh, uh, Chiku span back above the candlesticks and in open space. That would for that to happen, you'd also need to see the close, you know, back above the cloud, above the tank and send the kitchen send. And so currently that would mean it would have to go back up to 316. Um, which from where we're currently at that, what kind of a spike would that be? Rise rather? Yeah, just 70%. <laughs> That's what we'd have to get to in order to kind of resume its, you know, full on bull mode. Otherwise, yeah, pro likely to see some continued profit taking over here. We'll see what happens though. Uh, Thank you for watching. From all of Shared Exchange Rates UK TV, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.